uh, all this. And Steve, um, bigger picture, uh, it seems to me that these AI uh, programs are essentially, you just go out and train them, right? They're going out and they consume a lot of data and they consume a lot of language, try to predict the next thing. So presumably there's going to be a lot of iterations of this. It'll be seemingly a feature uh, as opposed to just a product. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. But it goes beyond ChatGPT, Mike. It goes into these things that let, let's just talk in the context of Microsoft, which is the real person, real company that's doing stuff here. What they see it, they're doing, Satya Nadella talked about this extensively at last earnings call last week. He was saying we're going to incorporate this technology across our entire technology stack. So today it's running on Azure. So that's a good part of the Azure business. And even if people want to have their own versions of ChatGPT that maybe don't use OpenAI, they see it as an opportunity to run those systems on Azure. Beyond that, they're already selling some of this technology through their Azure products, and we're anticipating them to put that finally in the consumer products, something else Nadella talked about. So that means Microsoft Office 365, uh, more extensively into Bing Search and into gaming and so forth. There's a lot of opportunity there, and Nadella talks about this as a platform shift. So that is something you really should pay attention to. He got it right with cloud. He got it right with um, the, uh, their Azure business. Now he sees this as the next step. And, and Dee, put it into context from the from the Baidu side of things. Um, what's the, I guess, the opportunity and, and how might it uh, kind of come into uh, consumers' attention there? Well, the opportunity in China is as big as it is here, so a lot of people are excited about this. And Baidu, it's known here in the West as the Google of China, but it's become a lot more than that over the last few years. Growth sort of struggling on the search engine side. So it's made this move into artificial intelligence a long time ago. It's made strides in autonomous driving. Um, and this doesn't come as a big surprise. We know that it's been working on a deep learning assistant called Ernie that is supposed to provide the basis of its own chat GPT-like product. And as you kind of said, Mike, it has to be trained. So this is what I find really interesting. Um, this chat, this artificial intelligence product is reportedly being trained in both English and Chinese, both inside and outside of the Chinese firewall. So when it comes to censorship, this is a really important question for a Chinese chat GPT product, because what is it going to be allowed to say or not say? And there's always trade-offs and restrictions. Even OpenAI is doing that in terms of trying not to return results that are going to be overly political or tap into hate speech. So it'll be really interesting to see how this turns out in China. But Baidu, and I should mention Tencent as well, have really been leading the arms, the AI arms race in China with most patents, more patents even than the companies here that are working on this. I can remember for years, really, people saying that because the raw material of artificial intelligence is data uh, and the Chinese platforms have essentially a lock on just an enormous trove mm -hmm. of it over there and all the activity among uh, Chinese citizens, that somehow it was a head start. Uh, but I guess, Steve, just to, maybe to put a little bit of a, of a button on it, it seems like this isn't necessarily something that's going to be, you know, uh, a, a, a new mousetrap that only one company controls and there's going to be necessarily network effects like a Google search where everyone's going to join in on the same platform. Is that right or wrong? No, that, that's absolutely right. I don't think we can say that one company is going to dominate this or the other. Right now, all the attention, of course, is on Microsoft because they were early investing in this one specific product. But you got to keep in mind, ChatGPT was built on a foundational technology started by Google. So they're really yeah. using some open source tech. AI is an open source in general, this community who develops this technology. They like sharing stuff. So a lot of it has that base level foundation that anyone can kind of tap into and create their own products with. So do I think Microsoft and Baidu and Google are going to be the only players here? Absolutely not because of that open source nature and because these, these researchers and developers share all the data with each other to begin with. All right. So mm -hmm. a bit of a Free-for-all here. Um, yeah, exactly. uh, Stephen Deirdre, thanks so much. Thanks. We'll talk to you again soon.